Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. As sure as night follows day, one build ends, a new one starts. Today I'm going to present to you the fan home release of Build Optimus Prime. My name is Optimus Prime. So this time we're going to be building the Michael Bay version, the movie version of the Optimus Prime and this comes all the way from Fan Home. Now if you want to get this for yourself, I'll put a link in the video description, there's also a QR code on the screen there. You can scan that and you can start this and build along with me. And now in the first pack, you do get two stages. But what I'm going to do first is show you everything you get in the first pack. We'll build those two stages and we'll have Optimus Prime somewhere in a prime location in the workshop when it's finished. But let me show you what you get. As you can see, the journey begins here. This is the pamphlet that they give you, just welcome into the build. Uh, just tells you about how you can manage your account online. So that's uh, the first thing you get. And the second thing you get is the brochure. It's a brochure that I absolutely love because this tells you all about the build and all the specs that you're going to want to know about. So you've got metal and ABS parts, articulated model, uh, true to the original film model. It includes the character's weapons as well. Uh, technical details all about Optimus Prime there. Uh, this is the important information I'm sure you want to know. It's, it's uh, a height of two foot, 60 centimeters with light effects. And as I said, the weapons are included. So that's that side on the back here. It's just showing you uh, one of the uh, free gifts you get if you subscribe with PayPal. Now, this is correct as of the time of this video. If you're watching this three or four years down the road, uh, this might have changed. But at the moment, this is one of the gifts you get, which, as you can see, is a very nice bust. Uh, it's got any dimensions for that. It's a five inches, 12 centimeters, the uh, bust there. OK, let's open this up. And as you can see, I'll fold this over, actually, because I do like teasing you. <laughs> Again, just some more details about uh, what uh, segments in the magazine you get, because you do get a magazine for every stage that you do. A little bit more about Optimus Prime in the movies there. Now, when you actually subscribe to this, at the moment, again, you do get some free gifts, but these may change three or four years down the line uh, if you're watching this video. But at this very moment in time, there's some prints, a key ring, a mug. It looks like we've got a T-shirt there as well. You can upgrade your offer there to have a case as well. Stop your uh, model getting dusty. Fits perfectly in that. Look at that. This is going to be an interesting build. Which means that I've got to open up this brochure because these brochures open up into a poster to show you. I do love these posters. Check that out. <laughs> this is what we're going to be building. So new build for the channel. Without further ado, let's get cracking. So it's all going to start in stage one. And I'm going to give you a quick look through the magazine here. As I said, each stage comes with the magazine. Telling you all about Optimus Prime, the leader of the Autobots. A little bit about Bumblebee there as well. And everywhere you think you can shake a stick out. Look at these. I remember these back, back in the 80s. <laughs> so we're going to be doing Optimus Prime, the head. The head is the first thing that we're going to be jumping into. And look at all these pieces here. Wow. Again, step-by-step -step instructions how to connect this all together. So by the end, it's going to look like that. That's going to look brilliant when we've done it. Now, I must bear in mind with you that in the pack, they also provide batteries. Now, these batteries are LR44 batteries. So I'm guessing this is what we're going to need to light the head. And this is everything that comes in the first pack. Let's just show you on the side camera there. We've even got our own screwdriver here, so you can actually use that if you don't have one. I will be using my own one just for comfort reasons. Um, let's get this open. OK, and the first thing we need, we've got a switch here, which has got some ports on the back. We've got a battery box looking like that, which has got the wires on the back. And then we've got this adapter plug here again with a JST plug on the end. So if I spin this around, I'm going to be connecting the battery board into this very left side of the control board here. So make sure you put it in the right way. Just see where the pins are. And once you've lined it up, you should be able to push that in, no problems at all. Now the neck joint cable, which is this one here, is going in the very far side over this side here. Again, check you've got it in the right way. And that looks just like that. I can put that to one side and I'm going to bring up his face, which looks like that. Got a big cavity in the back there because we're going to be putting the eyepiece in there. And for that, we're going to need this blue lens which we got here, and that's just going to go over the top like that. 
to hold that in we're going to be using an ap screw now this will be the first time we're using screws on this model so i will show you what they look like all the screws do come in the bag and they are labeled just like that get yourself your screwdriver and just screw that down the center hole here now remember if the letter at the end of those ends in a p it means you're screwing into plastic if it ends in an m it means you're screwing into metal but the eyes are now in place there we're then going to be taking the lights for the eyes, which looks like this on a control board. We want the wire at the bottom, and then this is just going to go over the top like that. And it's going to be held in with two BP screws. Now you are working with electrics and circuits here. So what you want to make sure is when you tighten this up, don't over tighten it. All you're doing is holding this in place. So hand tight done just do a little bit on that side done excellent that's the control board in place for the lights now as you can see on the switch here we've got one more port which we haven't plugged anything into and that's what these lights are going to go into so that's going to go in here just like that now we're going to start piecing all of this together so i need this side of the head which is labeled r there's a little stamp for r in there and the first thing I'm going to do is slide in this control board just into this section here. So the switch is in that little alcove there. Just ensuring I don't tangle anything up because I want this to be sitting on top. The face mask is going to be going here. And then the neck piece is going to be going down the bottom. So you just need to have a quick sort out where everything's going. Put the neck piece in that cavity there. The round cavity. And then we are ready to put the other side in. Which is going to go in here. We're not attaching the head or the top of the head yet. So I'll get this slid in like that. And there we go. It's one whole unit now. So I want to hold this together. in these two holes here with the AP screws. So that's one. One more. And that's number two. Now, when you are mucking around with all of this, you do want to make sure that you don't pull on these wires too much because you don't want to break the solder points off these. So uh, at the moment, the only things we haven't connected is the front of the face and the top where the batteries are here. So this is the point where we are going to start putting everything together. So if you have a look on the top of the face mask there, you've got two empty holes here, which are going to go into the lug. So when I push this in, I want to push that wire into the open cavity there. So do this here and there we go. That's the front mask in place. I want to do exactly the same with the top piece here. And again, I've got two holes here for these two lugs. So line it up. Make sure none of the wires are pinched and then push that down. And you heard it clip in there. Nice tidy unit now. <laughs> I like it. We do want to hold that in, so I'm going to hold that in with a DP screw just in the hole there. And there we go. That is not coming apart now. Now we've got two details we're putting in, one P and one Q. Now if you just turn these over, you'll see one's got a small hole at the back, one's got a larger hole. It's the small hole that I want first. That's going onto the right-hand side of the head here, just into here like this. It's going to be held in from the other side with a CP screw. Just through the hole here. And again, with plastic, you don't want to over tighten them. Just hand tight would be perfect. So that's in place like that. With the other side here, this can just push in to this side. It does take some maneuvering, but there we go. Both of those sides are in now. I can now put that whole thing to one side and bring up the rear head detail, which looks like this. Now, we've got this brilliant metallic blue detail that's going over the top here which is just going into the lugs that you can see there and we've got a hole ready for a screw in that large hole there so that can go in like that push that into place that's held in with one of the ap screws which goes in from the back here and then this whole detail 
is going to go onto the back section what we just created first and it's just a push in so once you've got it lined up push that in you'll hear it click so it should be flush on both sides looking like that now quite clever here where the switch is at the back we've got a cover for the switch which just goes over the top of the switch and you push it down let's get that lined up and i'll show you what this looks like very clever so it's part of the detail now. So turn him on and off. You're just going to move that backwards and forwards like that. Very clever, isn't it? <laughs> Put this whole thing to one side. I'm going to bring over these side pieces now. And I'm going to put putting this trim along the side. So these pieces are all metal. The trim is plastic. We just need to line up all the lugs on these. So it's going to go in. just like this whoops there you go and that clips in like that and then over these holes we've got two more details to put in you do want to match it to which one side you've got because we've got these details to put in and these are stamped with an l at the back because it's the left side that we're working on here so the thicker detail is going at the front just push that into place it can only go in one way and then the thinner one looking like this is going into the back just there so we've created that side like that we're going to do exactly the same thing on this side so again putting this detail in here like that put the thicker detail just checking which way around it goes it will only let you put it in way one way because the lugs are different sizes so that one's in there and then finally this one in there like that so that's both of those sides completed heavy bits of metal these are as well so bringing up optimus prime i've got the right hand side one here four lugs in here just going to go into these four holes match them up and push that together and you heard that click that's one side in do the same on the other side and there you go that's both of those in place now I am going to put the batteries in now because we're about to cover that up. Now if you're unsure which way to put it in, you put the bigger flat side here, not this side here, towards the spring. So that's going in that way. One, two, and three. Now I'm not going to turn it on yet until we've actually finished this stage. <laughs> because I need to put a cover over the battery box there. This is just going to go over the top there. And that's held in with AP screws. I think it's amazing how we've uh, got this head done in one go. But as you can see, that fits flush. And then the last thing to do is to actually put this massive metal section on here with this grill facing towards the front into the tabs here. Get this lined up. Make sure you don't trap these pointy sections here when you're putting this in. So you want to sort of rotate it round to where it's going. There we go. Push that down. That's one finished Optimus Prime head. So let's turn the lights out just for a little bit. And then I will turn this on. And there you go. <laughs> that looks really good. But that is all there is to do in that stage. So that leads us to stage two. This is the magazine for stage two. Turn it round so you can see everything you get in this magazine. And as you can see, we're going to do the right half of the chest. This looks like that. Lots of detail again. So by the end, it's looking just like this here. Look at this. This is a great design showing you exactly what parts you're working on as you're working on them. So here is all the parts for that. <laughs> Look at that. Excellent. Let's get this open. Okay, and the first thing we need is metal. Check out the paintwork on that. Looks like that. We need this. And I need this right inner plate here. It's stamped with an R. And that's just going to go over the top of that section just like that. It's going to be held in with AM screws. Now this time, I'm working with an M screw an am screw so i'm going to dip it in a little bit of oil and the reason i do that is because inside those threads chances are 
you're going to have some paint and the oil helps the screw to cut through that paint. Now the oil I use is just a regular three in one oil and it is in my Amazon store. I did put a link at the start to all my links, but there you go. That's in like that. Now, some people will be saying, why aren't you putting a mat down when uh, I'm doing this? Normally I have a mat with pieces like this. Um, I don't mind if this gets buffed or nicked or scratched or anything because Optimus Prime was far from um, <laughs> pristine. So uh, I don't think it's going to scratch much on this anyway, but I really don't mind uh, if I do get some buffs in there. But I mean, it's your model. It's up to you how you do that. <laughs> now we're going to be taking this frame for this and where we've put that little adapter there, this is going to go on the right hand side. So this is going to be going into here, just like this. It sits in there, just like that there. Now for this hinge to go in, you really do need to push it in there quite hard. Now I don't want to break anything. So once again, I'm going to use a little bit of oil just in these hinge joints here. That should help to push that home. So let's see if this works. You should hear a click, just like that. Did you hear that? And there we go, that holds itself in there like that. Perfect. Put that to one side, because look, check out this window here with all the uh, flame details on the front, looking like that. We have got some uh, glass to go in there. It's actually acrylic, looking like that. So that's gonna be going into this side here. Now what we wanna do is just line this up with the shape of the window. So this goes over the edges here, ready for some screws. And once again, they're AM screws. Remember, you're going into metal, so a bit of oil, but don't put it too hard, otherwise you will crack that plastic. You don't want to do that. So again, just hand tight. And there we go. That's the other side in, just like that. There we go. We've got some glazing in. Put that to one side, and I've got three headlamps to sort out. These look just like this. These are sort of like the reflectors, but in the front, we do have a bag of these lenses. We do have four lenses. So plug these in and push them in so they look like that. That's one, that one's two, and there you go, that one's three. These are gonna be going on top of the window unit we just created into these sections just here. So one, two and three they do hold themselves in really well look at that this is what it looks like from the underside now we do have one spare lens i'm going to keep that for now i don't know why we've got a spare one at the moment we'll figure that one out in a minute a couple more details just to do now which is the outer visor it's what we're doing here and what i'm going to do is take this small bracket here it's going to go at the bottom just like that it's held in with ep screws now these are really tiny holes so ep screws are equally tiny now when i get tiny ones i've got a tiny tiny how many times can i say tiny <laughs> i've got a tiny screwdriver here which is going to help me out but the pho should still hold these so i'll get this in now once you've got one in it should get easier yeah, that was quite tricky to put in. As you see, I did revert back to my PHO screwdriver. Because it can still hold these tiny screws. Let's get the other side in. So it looks just like that. And from the other side, you can see the screws have gone all the way through. Now this is just going to go into the two holes that we got at the top there. So again, push that in. Don't want to push down on here. Push down on the bracket that you've just put in. Again, if it's a tight fit, then I recommend, again, a little bit of oil just around here, and that will help drive the plastic in. Because again, you don't want to break these plastic bits. They could be quite fragile. I'm using the other side of my screwdriver here just to help me push these down. Perfect, and that fits nice and flush in there, like that. Now we don't actually attach this to this side here yet. I'm guessing it's gonna go over here kind of like this. I'm just teasing you, and I haven't put it in all the way, because it's gonna be looking just like that. We do have a windscreen wiper to put in, 
that's just going to go into the small hole that we've got here it sort of faces upright and again if you are struggling use a bit of oil mine's gone in fine actually so it looks like that but that is all there is to do in that stage that's all there is to do in that pack so we did have one spare section. I'm going to hold it up against me so you can see a scale size here. So it's going to kind of look like that. But that is the first pack of the Fan Home release of Build Optimus Prime. Now, once again, gently put that down. If you want to get this for yourself, I have put a link down here in the video description. You can get this all the way from pack one. But I really hope you like that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. I'm the Matt. Take care.